So last weekend, win against Gloucester, perhaps not the, the perfect performance, but how valuable was that away win? Really big, I think, um, obviously King's Home is a pretty tough place to go to. Uh, not many teams go there and get a win. Um, but, you know, we, we ground out a result in a, in a pretty hostile environment. It's obviously sold out King's Home, it's a tough place to go. Um, and, you know, we, although performance-wise we weren't really there, we're glad to come away with the win. And it couldn't be much more tightly poised now with Sale Sharks tied on points. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a few teams sort of ourselves included in and around that sort of mid-table area which are sort of picking up points off each other so you know it makes this, this weekend even more important. And in the wider context of the season how valuable do you think a win would be for either side this season? Yeah really big I think you know you, you, you pick up a rack of wins over Christmas you start to you know the, the league starts to take a bit more shape and and you can sort of see where where you need to be come the end of the season so you know obviously we're targeting a big performance and, and hopefully the win on Sunday. I know you guys always say one game at a time, prepare the same week in, week out, but when it is your former team, do you look for that to fixture when they first come out? Yeah, I think when obviously when it's when it's your old team and you keep an eye out for obviously their, their results and then when, when you play them in the league and you know we, we got um, turned over up there, you know, it's a tough place to go um, away from home. But you know, obviously hopefully Sunday up at the Rico, you know, we can uh, put on a performance and get the win. So what will you have taken from that defeat up there that you need to turn around for this performance? I think just, you know, obviously we, we understand, Sale, you've got a big, uh, big abrasive pack that like to drive um, from the set piece. Um, two big guys in the midfield, you know, carry hard and obviously, you know, you've got X-Factor players in, in that back line with sort of people like Cipriani who can, you know, pick defences apart. Um, so, you know, we need, to, we need to take a look at that and be aware of their threats, but ultimately focuses on us. You've got a few old dogs there as well, haven't you? I think Quaita's still going. Yeah, Quaita's still there. Obviously, he's uh, playing in the backfield with him um, over the last couple of seasons. You know, his, his experience is invaluable, and you know he's shown he's got young guys around him, but he's still he's still scoring the try. So maybe not as quick, but he's uh, you know he's still still a world class player. I'd love to hear you say that as well. Yeah, edit that. Don't <laughs> tell him that. His head will get him bigger. Uh, big. Well, obviously everyone really, but the young lads, the lads are sort of used to knock around with Will Cliff, um, Tom Brady, Will Addison. Um, Tommy Taylor, so those sort of guys, you know, who uh, we, uh, you know, we, we still speak quite often. So it'd be, it'd be good to see them, but you know, hopefully concentrate on our own job and, and catch up after the game. So did you block them out this week then? No Twitter, no. No, we we we've, we haven't spoke too much this week. We might have a have a little bit of banter tomorrow, but um, I've got a couple of WhatsApp groups that we're all still involved in. So there's still still a bit that flies around, but I think obviously there, you know, when it's it's uh, like this, you know, we concentrate on our job. They'll be concentrating on theirs, and then. You know, there'll, be, there'll probably be a bit of banner before and after the game, but yeah, looking forward to it. And back to the Rico, talk us through your experience of the first game there. Yeah, it was awesome, you know, I think um, for, for obviously the credit has to go to the backroom staff at WAS that put on such a spectacle from, you know, Derek and, and his team have put, you know, 28,000 people into the Rico to create the atmosphere that it was on the weekend was brilliant for us. Um, you know, the number of people, just the sheer volume of people that were there created that environment and, and the flags and, and everyone that was there supporting us, you know, was, was brilliant for the lads and obviously, you know, we, we started well with a good win against Irish so hopefully we can, you know, we can build on that and sort of make that our, our home fortress.